Dragon Ball Super Broly vs. Jiren is kind of taking like a victory lap right now and I couldn't be more excited to see how this remastered version plays out. So I want to give a huge thank you to both Jordan and Monty for continuing a series like these and let them know again how inspirational trying to perfect your craft is. For you guys that don't know, Dragon Ball Super Broly vs. Jiren is one of Jordan and Monty's most famous fan manga that made an absolute splash last year across the DB community on the internet. Remastered with new artwork and a declared winner this time, Broly vs. Jiren has returned and we found ourselves in the midst of a sparring session between none other than Goku and Broly. Ever since their battle on Earth, Goku knew there was something within Broly that was special. A raging power like that was something they'd never seen before and, and such a peaceful hearted being at that. As they train, the gap between the two is clear at this point with Goku having gained much more mastery over Ultra Instinct, but it doesn't seem he wants to overwhelm Broly to that extent just yet. With Chile and the gods nearby watching, even Whis agrees that Broly has potential far beyond even most other Saiyans. Goku agrees, however Broly still has much to learn and unlock within himself. Luckily, Goku seems to know just the person that may be able to help him do that. Being so strong that mastered Ultra Instinct was barely enough to keep the edge in Goku's favor, someone so powerful that they denied the offer to be a deity of their own universe. Jiren the Grey of Universe 11 would be the perfect opponent for someone as insanely talented and naturally as powerful as Broly, so they make their way to the distant Universe 11. Upon confronting Jiren, Goku acknowledges the power that Jiren must possess at this point, but the time for their rematch isn't quite now. Instead, Goku and the others would like to organize a match between him and the Saiyan behind them, Broly, whom he's meeting for the very first time now. A Saiyan? With the acknowledgement of Goku after the battle he had with Jiren, does pique his interest, but initially Jiren does decline. Goku tries to persuade him that he won't regret a match with Broly, however, as there's no way these two won't push each other to tremendous heights, which is what warriors such as themselves strive for. Eventually, Jiren agrees since Goku has faith that not only is Broly strong enough to hang with Jiren, but that there's still much more evolving for the both of them to achieve as well. So the match is set. Soon, Jiren and Broly will be set to face off against one another in a duel that'll test both of their limits beyond belief. But first, this all must be set up and in the meantime, training will resume to help Broly unlock his true Saiyan potential before facing his toughest opponent yet. Both Goku and Vegeta will have a hand in Broly's training this time around, so if you guys are hyped for that, be sure to go give both Jordan and Monty a follow on both Twitter and Facebook to keep supporting Blackbird Studios. Links will be down below in the description box, so be sure to go check them out right after this video. Don't forget to have those notifications turned on by clicking the bell icon down below to never miss an upload as soon as they go live. And if you guys have been enjoying the Dragon Ball content, consider leaving a like on this video as well, it really helps out a ton. Be sure to follow on both Twitch and Twitter to stay up with me and all Dragon Ball and anime related content guys. Without further ado. Chapter 2 begins in the midst of another sparring session between Goku and Broly as we see Goku in Mastered Ultra Instinct now effortlessly dodging Super Saiyan Broly's attacks. That's good, Goku tells him. Your energy is starting to feel like it does naturally now. Before long, you'll have mastered Super Saiyan completely. Kakarot, why won't you use your full power, Broly asks. Your ability to adapt is off the charts, but that doesn't compare to Ultra Instinct, Goku tells him. Ultra Instinct can adapt to and surpass any obstacle at full power instantly. Does that guy hold back like you? Broly asks, referring to Jiren. Oh, you mean Jiren? Goku replies. Definitely. He likes to test his opponents. Though I'm really not sure how strong he's grown, but I bet it's pretty intense. Broly throws another punch, but Goku hardens his body to the point where Broly nearly crushes his own fist as he winces and yells in pain. I'll tell you what, Broly, Goku says. I know someone who can push you in a way that I can't. 
You stay here and try to get used to Super Saiyan. Maybe Whis will spar with you for a few. Goku then sets off to find another challenger for Broly, leaving him and Whis for the time being. Well, Whis begins. I will say that it's been a while since I've had a good warm up. Let's get to it. Whis and Broly begin what is now their second little sparring session, as Whis, of course, maneuvers around Broly's attacks even easier than Goku did. You know Broly, Whis says. Goku may have Ultra Instinct, but you, you're special. You have your own instincts and they're more powerful than most Saiyans. I think your next goal should be to learn to tap into those instincts. Then you may be able to be on even ground with Goku. My instincts, Broly says, to which Whis replies, yes. When you lost control of yourself on Earth, he goes on, your Saiyan instincts were at their peak. I've never seen someone adapt so naturally and quickly without divine technique. You were born with an innate instinct for battle. At least in body, but not in mind. Your body has a mind of its own. When you lose yourself in your instincts, it reminds me a lot of divine technique, but for you, it's natural. You need to learn to control those instincts without giving in to them too much or too little. A perfect balance, so to speak. I see, Broly says as Whis disengages. This is when Goku shows back up with good news as well, telling Broly to come with him because he's found a place for them to train where they can really let loose now. We're then taken to a familiar pyramid that seems to be home to the next training grounds as we then see Vegeta has been summoned there by Goku as well. Vegeta turns around, glaring at Broly who glares back, and then turns his back to Vegeta. Broly, it's okay, Goku says. Vegeta's dad was a jerk, but Vegeta himself isn't like that, I promise. That Broly, Vegeta thinks to himself. There's no doubt about it. He's the Saiyan of legend. Hey, you too, Vegeta, Goku says, interrupting his thoughts. Come on, guys, this is a great opportunity to move on and have a good sparring match. We are all Saiyans here, after all. Vegeta smacks his hand away, walking into the pyramid, telling them to follow suit as well. All right, Goku says once they enter a hyperbolic time chamber-like place. I think it's time for the two of you to work this out the old-fashioned way, with a good brawl, he says. And don't worry about holding back in here because this place can definitely handle it. With this blessing to go all out, Broly powers up first going Super Saiyan as Vegeta just smirks, knowing this won't be anything like the last time. Very well, he says. Prepare for a dose of my tough love then. Vegeta transforms into Super Saiyan Blue and charges at Broly, initiating the battle this time unlike Goku. He lands a clean first blow on Broly, telling him he has no idea who he even is, does he? Kakarot makes fighting seem like a game, he says, but that's not always the case. Sometimes, things get serious, he roars, kicking Broly across the battlefield before he comes to a screeching halt. His attacks have all been blocked previously. What's wrong, Vegeta says, taunting. Where's that power you showed before? Broly isn't like you, Vegeta, Goku says. Before we started sparring, he didn't really even like fighting that much, according to that Chile woman. Is that so, Vegeta says. What's the matter, Broly? Lost your pride as a Saiyan? I'm not like you, Broly says angrily. I fight for others, not to hurt people. Is that what you think fighting is about, Vegeta says, getting instantly irritated at his ignorance. Wrong. As much as you've been around Kakarot, I figured you know this by now, Vegeta goes on. We Saiyans fight to better ourselves, he says, and strive to get stronger. My father? He may have sent you away, but that was a mistake. If he instilled his pride in all of the Saiyans, and not just in me, the Saiyans would have never been destroyed. You're special, Broly. You're what my ancestors have been waiting for for 1,000 years. You are the legendary Super Saiyan, he says as Goku and Broly appear instantly stunned by this statement. We always thought the legendary Super Saiyan was this bloodthirsty monster, Vegeta goes on. My ancestors, for generations, modeled themselves after the Super Saiyan in hopes of achieving his power. And I was the ultimate product of that goal, but it seems we were wrong. You aren't a bloodthirsty monster at all. Your instincts? Your Saiyan instincts are more powerful than any Saiyan that's existed for the last 1,000 years. 
all of your abilities as a Saiyan far exceed both Kakarot and my own. The reason you've hit a wall is because Kakarot is pulling his punches. He's done his job at teaching you to master Super Saiyan, I'll give him that. But you need to awaken the beast within, Vegeta says, as his power begins to grow immediately menacing, and I know just the way to do that. Vegeta instantly begins to transform, but this time, into something Broly may not have been prepared for. Vegeta transforms into his Ultra Ego form as his aura becomes so intense that it stuns Broly momentarily as Vegeta charges at him. Vegeta headbutts Broly, provoking Broly to release more of his power as the two begin to brawl in the sky above with Goku just watching on now. Come on Broly, Vegeta says, taunting him more. Get that Saiyan blood pumping. Broly lands a clean punch on Vegeta finally, but in this form, Vegeta is more than alright taking a few hits as he turns around and just smirks. He dunks Broly back down to the ground, asking him, is that all you can muster? What a disappointment. In the dust below, however, it would seem that Vegeta may have been the aggressive push that Broly needed all this time as the entire battlefield begins to grow calm as Broly gets back to his feet. Time to take it up a notch, I guess, Vegeta says. This is when he forms a Hakai in his hand, aiming straight below at Broly. Goku watches on to see how Broly will react to this attack, and then Vegeta fires it. A full power Hakai directly at Broly. All of a sudden, as the attack draws closer and closer to Broly, a massive light erupts from him as something snaps, illuminating the whole room and seeming to allow him to easily tank this attack. As the massive explosion and light subside, Vegeta lands on the battlefield across from Broly, waiting for his opponent to show himself again. Broly appears from the smoke, however, and it seems he succumbed to his full power Super Saiyan form once more, much like he did in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Now that's more like it, Vegeta says, finally drawing out his true power, but Broly instantly fires a beam from his mouth. Vegeta doesn't budge, willing to tank this attack and see what Broly's power is made of, but through the beam, Broly comes soaring right at Vegeta and grabs him by the face, much to the shock of the Saiyan himself. Broly slams Vegeta down into the ground head first, pinning him to the floor, but it seems he has some sort of control over himself at least. Vegeta attempts to get up, but Broly slams him right back down, with Vegeta still smirking back at him through his fingers. As Broly prepares to stomp on Vegeta, a hand appears on Vegeta's shoulder as Goku comes in and teleports him away. Preparing to tag out, Vegeta powers down as they both look on at Broly's amazing aura illuminating in the distance, as Goku tells him it looks like he did a good job awakening the beast within alright. Now it's time to tame it. It's my turn Vegeta, Goku says. Broly locates them again, and then begins charging at Goku. With Broly being tested against Mastered Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego in this version of Dragon Ball Super Broly vs Jiren, it feels like, to me at least, Jiren may have his hands a bit more full than last time. Once Broly masters his Super Saiyan abilities, the sky truly is the limit for such a warrior, as Vegeta said, with him already being not too far from their level, as inexperienced as he is. In the next episode, Broly will come face to face with what the true pinnacle of the Saiyans look like as Goku and Vegeta look to turn him into the most skilled fire the Saiyan race has ever seen, only here on Dragon Ball Super Broly vs Jiren.